Right, let's see something unique as well. The possibility to actually calculate a 3D volume. This is one of the features that is also unique to Actel Imaging Suite. Okay, let's see that I need to elevate one sinus because I'm actually missing some bone to press an implant. Okay, so I go right click first of all, reset the view. There we go. And I try to find one implant site. Okay, I believe on this acquisition there is one here. No, on this side, on the other side. There we go. Here I've got some bones, but not so, so big. As you can see, if I make a quick measurement, it's pretty small. Go right click, delete object for now. Okay, so what I want to do is to be able to elevate my sinus here and to fulfill it with biomaterial. So, again, I go reset view. Okay, I close this for now, I don't need it. I go on the sinus, on all the different views. And what I'm going to do now, simply zoom for now and go on this little icon, 3D, and then trim function. It's called trim or cropping. I click here, I've got this purple line coming up, and I will just take them, okay, and try to isolate my sinus. There we go. Same here, same here, same here on all the different views. There we go. Now I've got my sinus in 3D, but to see it a little bit clearer, I'm going to use a different filtering, which is here, or the 3D filtering. Click here, go in General CT and Airwaves. Takes a little bit of time to load. Wait a second. There we go. And as you can see, here is my sinus in 3D. Now, now let's say that I want to actually inject the biomaterial on this surface. This is how much biomaterial that I need, this little surface here. So what I can do is calculate how much biomaterial I need for this specific surgery. I go in these tools, okay, and I go volume measurement. And here we go, it tells me that I need 3.3 centimeter squares, sorry, centimeter cubicle, 3.3 cubicle of biomaterial. There you go, that easy. I can calculate any, any volume that I want.